Welcome back to Endless Vlogs. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And we're going to be talking about sh sh these shampoos and conditioners. So let's get into this video. So we're going to talk about this shampoo. This is anything. No, that's conditioner. We're going to talk about this. Sh this shampoo. I've never heard of it before. I guess it's sulfate free. I guess it is. You can get it at your local drugstore. Oh, um, no, actually, you can't get it at your local drugstore. You can only get this at a salon. So call your salon. I think maybe Sal Sally Be Beauties. If you have a Sally Beauties. They might have it. I'm not for sure though. Well, this is what it's called. Um, I was gonna recommend another. Uh, I was gonna rec the, recommend the um, the uh, Honey Treasure Repairing Gen Ginger one. I tried that last night. Burned my skin out. I'm not posting that video. I I just deleted it and didn't even edit it because um. It does not. It did not work. It burned my scalp. It's still itchy. When I washed my hair today, when I washed my hair today, when I washed my hair, um, I rinsed my hair. It was so dry. It only left a film on it. I don't know if it's because of my old shampoo. I gotta give this a week. I will give you a, an update on Friday about these. Next Friday about these, okay? But this is. This, I don't know how to say it. I'm not really good at words. That's what it is. It's olive oil. This is the conditioner. And it's restored and moisturized. And it's for color. It's color. I guess color shampoo is supposed to be better so it doesn't, like, strip all out your natural color of your hair. This is what the shampoo looks like. It's the same thing. It's Olive oil restores and uh, restores restores and moisturize. This is the uh, ten ounce bottle. Okay, um, they do have bigger bottles, but I'm waiting for them to get bigger bottles in the um conditioner. And so what you do, and I will show you, it's just a twist. Look at you just twist it. Oops, and it's already leaking out a little bit. It's okay. That's one thing I don't like about these. And then you twist it. And all it is is a twist. Okay? And then you just... Shh. And you only need, like, a little bit in your palm. Like, a tiny squirt. You're doing tiny squirts. You don't need a lot. It really lathers your hair. Um, I'm going to be trying a new method. I'm looking for... New shampoo, shampoo and conditioners because I I heard from my um hair salon that I go to said that I should be using sulfate free stuff um for my dry scalp frizzy hair and all that other stuff and um I was told to get this and this cost me roughly about thirty to thirty seven dollars. And you may find cheap products at like Walmart, your grocery, local grocery store, your local drugstore. You might find something cheap you might like, but any of their products you use are supposed to be sulfate free. Nothing's supposed to be sulfate in it. And this, what it says, this is how to use it. It says, this is how to use it, okay? It says, Apply to wet hair and massage into lather. Rinse fully with olive oil conditioner. Apply to wet hair and massage and rinse completely. Following, following with the olive conditioner. Okay. This is what it's supposed to do. I'm going to read this to you. It says, olive oil shampoo, shampoo is a rich and creamy cleanser formula to protect healthy looking hair. It provides moisture, increases shine, and manageable for dull hair, perfect for everyday use. This shampoo leaves hair enriched and nourished. 
okay? None of your products should have sulfate-free in it. And this, these, this bottle cost me $16.99. Both, both of these bottles cost me $16.99. I have never heard of this. When I was looking up reviews online, the reviews were 4.8. And I, I thought it was pretty good. I never heard of this before. But I say give it a try, okay? You never know on a shampoo unless you give it a try. You never know what, how a shampoo is going to be in your hair unless you give it a try. Because you don't know how your hair is going to react to a shampoo. Somebody else could be like, somebody else could get some, a shampoo that's $50 and say, Hey, I've tried this $50 shampoo and I don't like it. But you, in the, in the salon, recommends it to you. Let's say the salon recommends it to you. You could be like, hey, I got this recommended to me, but I'm going to try it myself. But a friend told me it's bad, but I think it'll look good on your hair. It could work good on your hair. You need to give it a shot. And I would say give shampoo and conditioner a week. If you don't like it, go to something else. Go back to them and say, hey, this didn't work. Is there a better alternative? Because there's always other shampoos out there. Okay? Yes, shampoos are going to be expensive, but I'm going to take out my hair and show you what my hair looks like. My hair is smooth, but I don't know if that's because of my other shampoo and conditioner I used yesterday. And it doesn't have a strong smell to it. And it does comb through my hair really, really nice. And I do like that. Hold on, let me comb up my hair and I'll show you what my hair looks like. My hair is really, really soft right now. My hair just got to get used to this. Cause my hair is not used to my hair is not used to having really, really soft. Um. See, hold on. Try to do it like that. See how my hair is looking nice and sleek and shine. That's how your hair should look. Okay, it should be soft. I should just be able to run my hair through it. I think the reason why I think my hair was always messing up, my hair is really soft right now. Uh, the reason why I think I was using um um ginger function triple um nutrients. I was using them. I didn't know not a good product. Okay. I know nothing about shampoo. This is my first time looking into it, okay? And I will honestly tell you, so far I give this 10 out of 10. My ratings could go down. I don't know for sure. This is what it is again. A lot of people say they don't like it. They said it leaves your hair greasy, oily, frizzy, um, not smooth. My hair is really, really smooth. I also tell you, it depends on your hair. You, there's all different types. There's black hair, blonde hair, brown hair, red hair, brunette hair. It's all on your type of hair. You have to ask your hair salon, okay? I've never done this before. This is my first time. I gave it a try. My husband's going to try it tonight and see how he likes it. But it's getting rid of my frizzy hair. So far, I like it. I give it a yes. It's a thumbs up for me. I think it's doing me good. I like it. It's doing me good. I just used it today, but I'm going to do a new routine of washing my hair. And then waiting two days and then washing my hair again. Okay? Because I don't want to strip out my natural oils in my hair. Because I've, I've already washed my hair twice. And I don't want to strip out my natural oils in my hair. But give this a try. See if you guys have this. You can order this online. Don't listen to the reviews. If someone recommends this to you. Like a salon recommends this to you. Go for it. Give it a shot. Because they'll know your hair. You'll know your hair. You'll get used to your hair. 
I used to use Pantene and all that other stuff. Never made my hair fall. And they said, oh, hair loss, damaged hair. My hair was always sleek and shine with them. I have thick hair. I have thick hair. But I'm giving it a shot. I'm going to give this a shot. Okay. Trying new products. I'm in to try new products. Just how I am. But you guys should give it a try. And if you guys don't know, go to your local salon, hair salon. If you guys don't want to try this and you're afraid to try this, ask them. Like, do you think this would be good for my hair? It's for Restores and Moisturize Olive Oil. Okay, and that's what it's called. Ask them. Ask them, be like, hey, do you think that would be good for my hair? If they don't recommend it, then go what they recommend then. You can always ask your, your haircut lady, your salon you go to, get a haircut. Always ask them if you don't understand what you should get. Because they've been cutting your hair and they won't know your hair. That's what I did. I called and she said, well, go to Walmart and ask the salon lady in there. They'll be able to help you pick out something good for your hair. And I did and she recommended this. And I'm giving it a shot. If I don't like it, move on, be done. Okay? And I'll get something new. I can always keep trying and I will find something eventually. I will find something that I like and it will work for me. But I think it's working for me so far. I like it and I'm going to stick with it. And um, you don't need a lot with it. Just remember you don't need a lot with it. You only need two squirts when you use the condition when you use the conditioner. You don't need a lot of conditioner, remember. It lighters you up. Make sure you do your ends first and then do your whole head. And then make sure you do the same thing with this. I always do my ends first, scrub my ends, and then I scrub the top with my shampoo. I scrub the top here and then I do my ends. With this, I do it backwards. I do my ends and then I, I do the top. So I always like to get my ends first with my conditioner to make sure that it goes in first. But I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I hope you guys are, li are liking these videos. See you soon. Stay safe. Bye, guys. Stay safe.